Hi, I'm Bob. Welcome to the Five Minute Econometrics program about the fundamental econometric concepts and theories. Today, we will explore the econometric terms SST, SSE, and SSR. According to the textbook, Introductory Econometrics: A Modern Approach, the seventh edition by Professor Jeffrey Woodridge, SST is the abbreviation for Total Sum of Squares. SSE is the short form of Explained Sum of Squares, and SSR is. Residual sum of squares. I memorize them as the abbreviations consisting of the first letters of each word of the terms, from right to left. For a linear OLS regression, we can write each outcome variable y i as its fitted value y i hat plus its residual mu i hat. The total sum of squares (SST) is the measure of the total sample variation in the yi. That is, it measures how spread out the yi's are in the sample. Yi minus y bar is the deviation in y. The sum of squared deviations in y is the total sum of squares (SST). Similarly, the explained sum of squares (SSE) measures the sample variation in the fitted value y i hat, and the residual sum of squares (SSR) measures the sample variation in the residual mu i hat. The former is the sum of squared deviations in y i hat, and the latter is the sum of squared variations in mu i hat. It can be proved that SST equals SSE plus SSR. In other words, the total variation in y can always be expressed as the sum of the explained and unexplained variations. It's important to remember the relationship between the three variations. The total variation in y. Equals the sum of the explained and unexplained variations. The explained variation is the variation in the fit values y i hat, and the unexplained variation is the variation in residuals mu i hat. The names of the variations are less important. Different textbooks may use different names for the same variation. Another popular textbook, Econometric Analysis, the eighth edition by Professor William Green, uses the regression sum of squares (SSR) to name the explained variation, and the error sum of squares (SSE) to name the unexplained variation. If we only look at the names. Unfortunately, we may get confused because SSE and SSR have opposite meanings in the two textbooks. I will use the names in Jeffrey Woodridge's textbook in the following of this video. Next, let's find the three variation measures in the stator regression result window. Here is the result window after we run an OLS regression. We may be familiar with the lower part of the window. They are the OLS estimates. In the upper part of the window, most of the statistics relate to the total sum of squares (SST), the explained sum of squares (SSE), and the residual sum of squares (SSR). In this result window, the total sum of squares (SST) is 500. Ninety-two point six. The explained sum of squares 
SSE is 149.5. Stata calls it the model sum of squares. The residual sum of squares is 443.1. The unbiased estimator of the error variance sigma squared hat equals the residual sum of squares SSR divided by its degrees of freedom n minus k minus 1. n is the number of observations and k is the number of explanatory variables. Sigma squared hat equals 0 0.1471. We can find the r squared and the adjective r squared in the upper right section. r squared is defined as the ratio of the explained variation to the total variation. We interpret it as the flexion of the sample variation in the outcome variable y that is explained by the explanatory variable x. It is 0 0.2523 in our example. The adjusted r squared is the r squared adjusted by the degrees of freedom. It is smaller than the r squared and can be seen as imposing a penalty for adding more explanatory variables into the model. It is 0 0.2513. Finally, we can find the root mean squared error, which is the square root of the sigma squared hat. In our example, it is 0 0.384. The root mean squared error is needed when we compute the estimates standard errors. Thank you for watching this video. Hope to see you soon on the next topic. Take care. Thank you for watching this video and subscribing to my YouTube channel. See you next time.